When it's cold outside, everyone needs a little huga. We all know huga, even if we don't say it quite that way. In case you haven't heard, huga is a Danish word that means a quality of coziness and comfortable conviviality. Uma Hreymith explains the concept further. What I call it is comfort. Getting into your comfort zone and making sure that you feel at peace both inside and outside. Perhaps one of the best places to enjoy Huga is a library. The more beautiful, the better. The Ames Free Library in Easton is such a place. Haramuth is executive director. Built in 1883 by the famous architect Henry Hobson Richardson, who's known for Trinity Church and many others. And the library is a little gem. Uh, there's not a single person in Easton who's not very, very proud of their library. The library's barrel vault room is a showstopper. I've been working in this library for 10 years. I look up and I see the barrel vault room and involuntarily I smile. H.H. H. Richardson lined the room with butternut wood, a rare light-colored walnut. He wanted it to look like first period furniture, which was very elaborately carved. Resident Edmund Hands is Easton's unofficial town historian. Richardson is generally considered to be the first American architect. was original and not so much copying European styles. This is designed in what's known as Richardson Romanesque. The Ames Free Library has many inviting spaces, including the Gothic style stone Cuisset House. The children's section in the main library is filled with plenty of fuzzy friends and window alcoves. Books are an absolute perfect invention and are never going to go out of style. We're surrounded by the wisdom of the ages. It's the closest I think we get to feeling immortal because you're having conversations with the best of the past. You're realizing yourself in a very non-judgmental space. It's the space away from home that you can just walk into. I think of it as a place of magic. What's cozier than dining by the fire? Fireplaces blaze away at the Oak Long Bar and Kitchen and Boston's Fairmont Copley Plaza Hotel. And executive chef Graham Lockwood makes good use of the hearth oven in the center of the restaurant. It has this a very welcoming scent. It's not pretentious, it's very approachable, and that's also what we try to do with the food. Chef Lockwood grew up in Canada and has long had a passion for cold weather menus. We're in mushroom season, so matatakis, chanterelles, squashes are great right now parsnips, celery root. There's just so many great root vegetables. And plenty of hearty meats, including pork chops. We take the you know pork and cabbage classic combination, but we braise red cabbage, bring that down to nanu puree. We serve it with spatsli, some roasted apples, some braised onion, and a little demi-jus. Another favorite this time of year, gnocchi with wild mushrooms and smoked mozzarella with a gruyere cracker and candied pumpkin seeds. The soup itself is kombucha squash, butternut squash, sugar pumpkins, some acorn squash. And for dessert, pecan pie. The seasonal pies here are an ode to Lockwood's grandmother who taught him to cook and bake. The first thing I ever learned how to make was with her and I cooked a pie. So a pie will always be on the menu here as long as I'm here at Oak for my grandmother. We've got meadows, wildlife pond, amazing views of the Woodchuser Reservoir, and something to see year-round. Garden lovers take note. Here in Boylston, Tower Hill Botanic Garden has 171 acres of formal gardens, trails, and indoor conservatories. CEO Grace Elton. We actually have quite a few visitors a year, about 145,000 people come, and that has increased 80% in the last five years. Tower Hill got its start in 1842 as the Worcester County Horticultural Society. 30 years ago, they moved to this former dairy farm. We removed the barn and designed this educational and visitor center. We're sitting today with these wonderful conservatories. The Orangerie, or the Orange House, and the Limonaya, or the Lemon House, bursts with tropical flowers and plants. Fountains babble in corners, creating a spa-like feel. It really is a full sensory experience. I didn't realize how quiet things were in the winter because the snow muffles so much sound. A recent transplant from Florida, Elton has a little piece of the Sunshine State right here. You can walk into the Orangerie and just get hit by a wall of scent because we've got orange blossoms blooming in the middle of winter. And that's just something that you really can't find anywhere else. 